open up, open up, shutting down like a Macintosh. Open up, open up, open up, open up, cold as ice and cold love. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be Riley Nevaeh's two month updates, baby updates. So if you want to know what's new with Miss Riley, then let's get started. So I'm just going to jump right in because there's not too much new that's happened from last month besides a couple things. So the first thing is she's bigger. <laughs> she's currently right now nine pounds, nine ounces as of today, which is Sunday, December 15th. She has a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so obviously we'll, we'll get her new um, like measurements and her new weight. So if you do follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you will see what the update will be with that. If you don't, my tags are down. I'm so freaking out of breath. <sighs> it's ridiculous. But if you do follow me on Snapchat or if you don't, I will leave my posts, I mean my names down below because um, I will put an update as far as what her do, new weight is on my Snapchat when she goes to the doctor tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know what her new you know, length is, what her new weight is and stuff like that. Um, and any more updates, I'll let you know on my Snapchat. So don't forget to follow me on there. But this month, um, the new thing about Miss Riley is she smiles now. Yeah, see, so you're smiling. She thinks everything is funny. She loves when people talk to her. She was like that before, like obviously last month when she was only one month. She loved for people to talk to her. She loves for people to, she loves kisses. Um, she loves for people to talk to her and to just love on her. She loves cuddles. So that's something that's new this month is she freaking laughs at everything. I'll put a few clips and stuff of her smiling and laughing when I was kissing her and just talking to her just in general. She is such a friendly um, baby after a while. <laughs> she will mug you down in the beginning, but after a while, she's a really sweet baby. Um, she smiles all the time now and she laughs and she'll just sit in her um, bassinet sometimes and just be talking up a storm. So <clears throat> she definitely is a happy baby for the for the most part. She um unless she's hungry, which goes to my second point, this baby will eat a full eight ounce bottle. This is four ounces, right? I got the bottle on deck. This is four ounce bottle and she will drink or eat whatever that full bottle. And then if you let her, she will definitely eat more. Her appetite has went extremely high within the last month. Um, she will eat some food, um, which is another point that I have to make is when this girl is hungry, let's just say she's been sleeping for like eight hours. And when she wakes up, she wants a bottle and she wants it now. Like you could not take longer than 30 seconds to make her bottle. She will scream to the top of her lungs as if somebody then just beat her or just killed her. Like she feel like she wants the bottle as soon as you, as soon as she wakes up, she's ready to eat. Um, and she will scream to the top of her lungs if you do not have that body ready. So I wanted to show y'all that the bottle's on deck. Just in case she starts crying, it's right there. But she, that's her new thing now. She will literally scream to the top of her lungs because she's hungry. And you would think we didn't feed her. We do feed her quite often and she just be hungry. So check with the doctor is totally fine she doesn't have any deficiencies or anything like that as far as her stomach she just likes to eat and she's just a fat mama so i said okay just wanted to make sure and they said it was perfectly fine so that also goes into my the second or third point that i wanted to make with this month being her second month is she did change her milk we did change her milk I know I told you guys last month that she was on uh, Infamil Gentle Ease. We did end up changing her. I'll put the name of the milk on the screen. That is the milk that she's drinking right now. It's amazing. She's going to the bathroom regularly. She's not having as many upset stomachs as she was before. Um, that milk is just really good. Um, now, like I said, the Infamil Gentle Ease, that's the um, alarm. The Infamil Gentle Ease was not settling well with her stomach at all. So now we have a milk that she actually likes. 
and she's being able to digest her food. She doesn't have an upset stomach. She's not crying all of the time because she's constipated. This milk has really been doing us justice, so I'm really glad that we did find a milk that does work well with her stomach. This was the third milk that we had to go through in order to find out what milk worked for her. So parents out there, if your baby is having some problems with milk and digesting food, ask your doctor they know what's best they gave us some milk that works for her and i'm so glad because before she was screaming constipated and all of that stuff and i'm like that's something that i do not want to go through again so if you do have a baby and your baby is constipated or you think your baby's constipated don't hesitate to talk to your doctor and ask your doctor if they have any recommendations on milk and stuff like that because she's happy now she's boo-booing all the time and i'm happy before she wasn't doing as much poops as she was now and now she's doing poops all the time more, multiple times a day so that is something that i'm really happy about <clears throat> that is something that i'm really happy about and she's actually pooping <laughs> and she wasn't doing that before so i'm really excited about that another thing is she's sleeping phenomenal um as you guys know bj goes out of town sometimes so i've noticed that when bj does go out of town she doesn't um sleep through the night as well as she was if both of us were in the bedroom together um but i just have to train her um you know put a shirt on that he likes um that has a smell or whatever um but before she was sleeping like every two hours like she was not sleeping at all she was giving me the flux okay i'm so thirsty hold on she was giving me the absolute flux like i was not sleeping at all i was just so tired but now she's letting me sleep she's sleeping when she's with me and bj so when bj is not a town She's sleeping from like 12 midnight to like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. She'll eat and then she'll go right back to sleep. When BJ's not out of town, she'll go to bed at 12, maybe 10. And she'll wake up pretty much like every three hours, which is kind of different because it's like she knows that he's not here. But um, yeah, that's the only difference as far as the sleeping patterns. And something that I've noticed about her is she doesn't like to be around a lot of people. Um, for Thanksgiving, we went, obviously we had Thanksgiving at my mom's house and it was a lot of people over and, you know, people keep passing her back and forth. When we got out to the bedroom to like wind down and give her a bath, you know, go to sleep, she was not having it like at all. Like she, it was, it was the, it was a wrap. Like she was not having it at all. At all. She just was like whiny and just wouldn't stop crying and I'm like okay so yesterday we had another like family event that a lot of the family members were at one household and she was being passed around and when I got back home I was ready to put her down you know to go to sleep or whatever she was crying uncontrollably for like an hour um so I've noticed that when it comes down to her and being around a lot of people she doesn't really adapt to that scene i guess you can say she's still not used to being around a, a large group of people so i try so as far as that situation goes she is not really uh, accustomed to being around a lot of people so i have to make sure when we are at church or whatever that she's kind of like in her car seat kind of secluded and it's not to be like okay don't touch my baby but it was just like one of those things like she's not used to being, and she'll be really overwhelmed if there are a lot of people jumping at her, trying to hold her, picking her up. She's very sensitive to sounds as any newborn baby is. But that was just kind of the only kind of couple things that's new for her. She's definitely able to fit in three months. This is a three month shirt dress that she has on right now. If I can show you her, if she'll let me. So this is Miss Riley. Say hi, Miss Riley. She the camera. This is a three month shirt that she has on. I hope y'all can see her. Um, this is a three month shirt that she has on now. She's, oh my gosh, she's getting so big. Um, so she's able to fit in three month sizes, so zero to three months, some three months, just three months. Um, <laughs> you finna fuss? Oh, it's so stressed out. 
um but she's able to fit in like i said some three month stuff she definitely obviously can fit a newborn but i've noticed that the newborn is too short for her now especially like the leggings and stuff are like more so capris um the shirts and stuff are too short they'll be you know flooded in her arms and stuff so this is actually a three month outfit that she has on now or zero to three months um yeah it's zero to three months so She's definitely growing. And like I said, her doctor's appointment is tomorrow, which is Monday. So I will know how much she weighs on Monday, tomorrow, and I'll let you guys know then. Oh, she fussy. Oh, she fussy pants. Fussy pants. But yeah, that was just the two month update that I wanted to tell you guys. Not much is going on. She's just a happy baby. She's smiling all the time. She's just really happy and loves when people talk to her. So yeah, if you guys are in liking these new um videos obviously they're new because i'm a mom now so if you're liking these you know month to month updates as far as the baby please let me know because i'm enjoying them as well i get to bring her on my channel um i just want to do my outro i just want to do the outro if you guys are liking them please give the video a big thumbs up also make sure to comment down below hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time i post a brand new video share this video so people will actually see when i do post and you know all of that good stuff and subscribe to my channel and if that is all i will see you guys in my next video which is going to be tomorrow for vlogmas bye